Lorena Royster's loved ones and best friends say they're grappling with the loss of a woman who meant so much to so many. She made sure that people felt that love from how she made you feel and how what she did for you. What her family says the 72 year old enjoyed her family church and is being remembered as someone who was always just one phone call away. According to her best friend of 24 years, Bernadette Harris, Harris says she last saw her best friend on Easter Sunday. I, I just truly miss her. We spoke every day, several times a day, and we didn't go to bed at night unless we said good night and I love you. Prince George's County Police say the North Carolina native was found unresponsive on Tuesday after officers were conducting a welfare check at her Bladensburg apartment. Court documents revealed that Royster was found wearing a handcuff on her wrist and a stab wound to her neck. Prince George's investigators say Royster's son, Reginald English, fatally assaulted her inside their Bladensburg home on 53rd place earlier this week. She will always be with us in spirit. Um, I pray the most for her daughter and for her grandchildren. Um, I'm sure that that void is most heavily present for them. Stacy Burgess is Royster's niece and says she, along with family and friends, are leaning on their memories in the face of tragedy. The joy that she had and that she brought to everybody, that will be the void that's left, but also the lessons learned through all of this is how to be more like her. Royster's son faces first and second degree murder charges and police are still working to determine a motive. In Prince George's County, Dominique Moody, News 4.